Okay. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you're having a great day out there. So, actually, as you can see, I'm on the road, headed uh, headed across uh, my state in the great state of Alabama. And, but we're excited to have you on this Tuesday. And so the word for today is opportunity, okay? Opportunity. And so uh, I see a lot of smiling faces when you hear that word, opportunity. But before I turn it to coach, I just want to say, you know, and I'm looking at my other phone, okay, if you're wondering. So if you look at the definition of opportunity, a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something, a chance for a promotion, a chance to grow, a chance to develop, a chance to be more, okay, is really the definition I see for opportunity. There was a quote, though, a couple of quotes. I love quotes. Um, William Arthur Ward said, opportunities are like sunrises. You miss them if you wait too long. Think about that. If you just feel like sleeping in, guess what? You missed a good sunrise, possibly. Mm -hmm. So an opportunity is a lot like that. You know, Henry Ford said failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time for more intelligently. So, you know, everybody that seized opportunities in life has possibly failed at other things they've done and learned from those. You know, I think back about, um, you know, I talk about, sorry about that. Um, I think back, I talk about uh, Abraham Lincoln a lot. And if somebody went back and looked at the history of Abraham Lincoln and how many times he failed running for public office but he learned every time, every time, every time he stayed diligent and he, he stayed true to the course. And obviously we know he became the president of the United States. So in knowing that, how, how to be prepared to take advantage of an opportunity coming your way. There's six things I want to share with you this morning. Like you're sitting there and you go, man, I, 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 I want to grow in my business. I, I, I want to excel. I want to do this. You know, everybody wants, everybody wants to do it. But how do you prepare yourself before it happens so that when the opportunity arises, you're ready? Well, number one, don't let your past limit your future. I think about my own life. I was a high school football coach. Today, I have a global network marketing business. If I let my past dictate my future, I would have never done network marketing because I had no sales experience. I had no experience in this industry. I'd never done this industry before. So you can't let your past limit your future. Number two, you got to be willing to network. This is huge. If you were to ask Coach Myra Miles about her career, she would tell you that she has networked all the way through her career. But see, you got to network in order to, when the opportunity arises, you've built that network. Some people say your net worth is equivalent to your net worth. Okay? Think about that. Number three, self-development. If you're not in a book, if you're not listening to audio, if, you're, if your car is not at points in your life, a mobile classroom, you're going to miss opportunities because it's like I said yesterday, you got your dome right that when the opportunity comes in, you're ready to, you're ready to jump. Number four, have an open mind. You got to be willing to listen to people. You can't shoot things down before you've ever heard what it is. Number five, you got to be consistent. Mm -hmm. When you're consistent in life, you're more prepared for when opportunities arise. And number six, you got to decide. When an opportunity presents itself, don't hesitate, pull the trigger and run. And you go, well, Brent, what if I mess up? What if I fail? What if... You know what? That's part of life. 
you'll learn from it. But when an opportunity arises, you feel like you need to be in, you got to strike, don't hesitate and go for it because we only live one life. And I'm going to leave you with this as I turn it to coach. Opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. That's good. Coach, I'm going to turn it to you. All right. That was great, Brent. Uh, listen, I'm going. Some, I'm shaking it up a little bit this morning. Uh, I got Anthony uh, going to show a little. It's about a two-minute video that I'm going to share first, then I'm going to wrap it up with about a minute's worth of comments. And uh, I think this will really resonate with you. I, I listen. This was great for me. So let's go, Anthony. One point five percent. That number is all that separates the DNA of a human being and a chimpanzee which means that, relatively speaking, 1.5% is the difference between a rocket ship and a pile of bananas. 1.5 extra minutes a day for an entire year is 547.5 minutes. And those minutes accumulated could end up being the difference between pass or fail, yes or no, average or great. When we look at change, at getting what we want, we tend to visualize it on a pedestal. It's huge, it's mysterious, it's complex, but I'll tell you what, it's the smallest of adjustments, seeking out and capturing that little 1.5%, living in the space that we're so inclined to just see right past, that's where I find my advantage. We are surrounded by a million little opportunities every day that we walk by. Waking up a few minutes earlier, reading a few pages, doing an extra lap or rep, tiny things. They won't give you what you want right away, but little by little, small advantages become big advantages, consistent action becomes habits, and we are, as Aristotle says, what we repeatedly do. Don't look for the moon, look for the staircase that will take you there. 1.5 may be small, but 1.5 every day is the most powerful thing there is. Wow, how about that? That was, that was pretty incredible. That, I, I just stumbled literally upon this as I was getting ready for today. So I'm going to take, I, I watched about five different videos today, and I'm going to throw a lot of the quotes out from these people you don't follow Jocko, you need to follow Jocko, Eric Thomas, uh, some of these people, but I'm going to throw some of these at you and I, I, I turned it to where I could apply this to all of us. Let me ask you, what's stopping you? Are you too tired? Did you not get enough sleep? Do you not have enough energy? Do you not have enough time? Oh, do you not have enough money? Or is the thing that's stopping you, you? Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, wake up. It's time for us to take the opportunity of the resources that we all have in our communities. If you want something, you simply go get it. Recognize the excuses we use. They're not valid, they're fabricated. They're lies that we conjure up. Stop the lies with the truth. The truth that we have time, we have the skill, we have the knowledge, we have the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. The fruit of everything good in life begins with a challenge. If you want it, you have to go get it. It's our chance, our shot, our moment, our time, our place. We only have today, not tomorrow. And in closing, this is what I came up with to challenge everyone with. Every single day, we have an opportunity to get better. We have the opportunity to help our families, our friends, and our future. Will we take the opportunity today that the good Lord has given us to go tackle and grasp our dreams? Or Will we just simply make another excuse today? The choice is always our. What will we do today 
as the opportunity has presented itself. Y'all be great today. Take every opportunity you can to take that 1.5% advantage in whatever you do in life. I love y'all. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be with you today. Thank you so much, Coach. That's a mic drop. <laughs> take advantage of the day. Have a great yes. Tuesday. Love you guys. Grateful for you. Bye, y'all.